Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today we are going to make logo animation using Adobe Animate. And we're going to export the logo as three different file formats. One, HTML5 file. Number two, animated GIF file. And number three, MP4 video file for social media. And also I'm going to make a link to the video tutorial for this logo making uh, mountain bike logo using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, in my description. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first please download this, the Adobe Illustrator file, the logo I made, uh, mountain bike, it's a kind of fake logo. Um, and then I made a link uh, to this file in my description. So once you download it, Please open Adobe Animate. We're going to create a new file. The size is going to be 300 pixel by 300 pixel and 30 frame rate and HTML5 canvas. Create it. Okay, so that's the file. Okay, now back to Adobe Illustrator. First, please choose this the top the black gear shape and copy and back to Adobe Animate and paste in center. It will ask you this. Please check the second button. Uh, paste it using AI file importer preferences. Okay. So that's it. That's good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it a little bit. So I'll highlight the end frame number 30, one second mark. Let me insert the keyframe. Make sure you're using keyframe. Keyframe. Then place your mouse cursor anywhere in between. Then hold down the control or right click. Then create classic twin. Now I'm back to the first keyframe. I'm going to use my um, uh, free transform tool. I'm going to rotate it 90 degree angle. So let me hold down the shift key so I can rotate 45 and 90. When I play it, see? But I want to give some kind of a little more fun, kind of a, I want to have that different speed. So I highlight the first keyframe. And once you choose that, on your right properties panel, you're going to see that ease option. I'm going to uh, increase it up to 100. That's the maximum. And see the difference. See? It's getting slower. Okay, then I'm going to keep it up to 45 frame. Insert just a keyframe. Okay, now create a new layer on top. This time, uh, highlight the frame number 30. One second mark on this new layer and insert the keyframe. So you see that little empty keyframe things. That's the blank keyframe now. I'm back to Adobe Illustrator. This time, please choose the other black background thing. This is the gear shape. On the bottom one, let me copy. Now I'm back to animate on that. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> on that new keyframe, edit, paste in center. Check the second radio button and OK. So it looks the same. See, but I want to give some kind of a smoother transition. So I highlight the frame number forty-five. On top layer, insert a keyframe, then choose any frame in between, hold down the control or right click, create classic twin. Then highlight the first keyframe of this new layer, click on your shape, then in your properties panel, I'm going to change the color effect, alpha value, down to zero. So what happened is, spinning fading in, spinning, fading in, because first keyframe alpha value is the 0%, and the second keyframe of alpha value is 100%. So uh, that's how it works. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me, create a new layer on top. Then on frame number 45, insert a keyframe. Now this time, we're going to uh, copy and paste these two orange, the scenes and then uh, the bicycle 
the chain image. Select both, copy, and back to Adobe Animate. Let me paste it. Edit, paste in center. Second radio button. Yep, so that looks good. Again, same thing. I want to make it fade in. Highlight the frame number 60. Insert the keyframe. Okay, then place your mouse cursor in between. Hold down the control and click. Create classic twin. Like we did, highlight the frame number 65, the, the first keyframe of this orange thing. Click on your image on your stage. Color effect, alpha value, down to zero. So it's going to be fading in. But the problem is, bottom two layers, the black images are gone. So we're going to just extend it. Since we are using the 60 second, uh, I mean the 60 frame so far, highlight the frame number 60 on your second layer and hold down the shift key, 60 frame number 60 on the bottom layer as well. Then insert the keyframe. So now you see the routine. Okay, so it looks good. Next is a blue lake and the text. See? Select this. Hold down the shift. Select your text. And copy. I'm back to Adobe Animate. And then I'm on top layer. Let me insert a new layer on top. On 60, insert a keyframe. And edit, paste in center. Okay, I'm going to move down a little bit. I think, yep, it looks good. And same thing. Highlight the frame number 75, insert a keyframe. Hold down the control and click anywhere in between and create classic twin. Now, on first keyframe of this blue thing, click on your lake and the text. Color effect, alpha value, down to zero, so it is fading in. And same thing's happening. All the background and then my orange layer is gone. So highlight the frame number 75 of this bottom three layers and insert the keyframe. So we can just extend it. So let's see what we have so far. Looks good. Spinning stops, fading in, fading in. The only thing left is the text. So um, let me uh, select the top layer, insert a new layer, and I'm going to insert a new keyframe on frame number 60, uh, 75. Now back to Adobe Illustrator, select your text, copy, and back to animate. Let me paste it. Okay, and I'm going to move down, I'm going to set the position. So I think it looks good. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, a little bit up. That looks better. Okay. Okay. Then, we can animate this entire text, uh, entire word, mountain bike. But I want to give some more dynamics. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to animate individual letters separately. So select your text, mountain bike. Then go to modify and break apart. Now you will see, they see that? Uh, it is separate into an individual letter now. So mountain bike. Still selected. Go to modify again. Timeline. Distribute to layers. And see this. So now uh, each letter is separated into an individual layer. So we can animate it. So for now, on the bottom, let me highlight the frame number 80. So it's going to be kind of a quick animation. And hold down the shift key, highlight the frame number 80 on top layer. Then insert the keyframe. Okay. Now, select all layers for the each letter. So that's the bottom one. And then hold down the shift and click on the um, top layers. So all layers, the letter layers are selected. Then hold down the control 
and click somewhere in between 75 and 80 on any layer. Click Classic Twin. Okay. But it's kind of hard to see what's going on. See? So what I'm going to do is, first, uh, I'm going to extend this bottom four layers up to number four, uh, frame number 80 so we can view everything. So highlight all four layers, insert the keyframe, just extend it. Then rewind to a frame number 75 and then let me highlight all letters on first keyframe, which is the frame number 75. Hold down the shift key, click on the 75 on top layer, then choose your free transform tool, hold down the shift key and drag. I'm going to make it not too much, not too big, about this big. Okay, and in your properties panel, color effect, choose the alpha down to zero. So it's going to be like this. It's cool, isn't it? But uh, I want to give the uh, kind of little delay between individual letter. So layer 17 in my case, that's the first letter M, see that? So I'm going to just leave it as it is. Next letter O. Highlight the, the entire layer. You see the all blue segment, meaning this entire layer is selected. Now place your mouse cursor somewhere here. Just keep pressing. I'm going to move one, two frames to the right. Next letter, one and two. Next letter, one and two. So we're building kind of uh, steps. One and two. One and two. One and two. Two. I'm getting in there. I have two more. And the last one. Okay. But problem is, see that? It's all empty. So um, I'm going to choose the last frame on my uh, the second layer. Hold down the shift key and click on the bottom layers, the same frame. So all blue here. Then insert the keyframe so I can extend it. So let's see what we have. Play. It's cool, isn't it? Again, spinning, stop. Fading, fading, fading in, animating. Okay, so it looks good. Uh, but uh, what's going to happen is, uh, if I save it as a GIF file or the HTML file or the, uh, the MP4 file for the social media, it's going to loop. Then uh, we don't have enough time. So uh, I'm going to test it so we can view it. Control, test the movie in browser and see what happens. It works as an HTML5, but um, see, it just keeps looping. It's good, but um, people don't have enough time to read the text and then to view the entire logo. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make it stay a little longer, like uh, maybe up to five seconds. Then hold down the shift key, click on the bottom layers, five second mark, and just insert the keyframe. Let me test it again. Control test move in browser as an HTML. Mountain bike, stay and play again. Yes, that's good. Now, we haven't saved yet. So first I'm going to save it. Save it as uh, in my folder as the uh, um, mountain bike underscore uh, animation. Save it. Okay. Now, let me export it as the HTML5 canvas already uh, first. Go to File, Publish the Settings. Make sure uh, Publish the JavaScript and the basic. I'm not going to change anything. 
Maybe you can check this. Make responsive. If your file is kind of a big, but um, I I think that it doesn't make any changes this time because my file size is only a 300 by 300. So I'm not gonna check. I'm gonna leave it as it is. It will create yeah, the as an image folder as an HTML file. Okay. Okay. All right. And publish. And okay. Now let's see. You see that? It created the images folder and also HTML document. Let me open it in my browser. It is working. Yeah. Okay. So HTML5 is done. Now, as a GIF file, animated GIF file, go to File, Export as the other animated GIF. So make sure your file format is a GIF. Okay. If you check the yeah, transparency, we can have a transparency background, but I'm not going to do that at this point. And uh, the color depth. The smaller is better. So let me choose number two and see what happens. See, this is a black and white. So it's not good. It's two, two, two less colors. Number four is better, but uh, I'm losing my blue. Let me try eight. It's okay, but I want to compare this to um, the next level, number 16. Oh, this looks better. Okay. And let me check the number 32 as well. Okay. I don't see the big difference, so I'm going to check, choose the number six, uh, 16 color depth. Okay. And save it into mb underscore animated dot gif in my folder. Save it. Let me check my folder. You see the animated GIF file? Yes, animated GIF file. So maybe you can use it for the another kind of HTML document. You can just use it uh, as the regular image. Okay. The last. As an MP4 file for social media. So go to File, Export, Export to Video and Media. I'm not going to change anything, but let me double check the format. This is an important one. Make sure you choose H264. This is the file format for the MP4 file, the web streaming file, the video file. And my location is going to be my folder, MB Animation. So it will be saved as the MB Animation .mp4. Save it. And make sure before you do that, uh, your uh, media encoder is open. <clears throat> Excuse me. And check start out of the media encoder render queue and export it. And let me check. Yes, I have an MP4 file. See? So um, if you want to uh, upload this on the, on the like Instagram, the social media, then you will need to use this MP4 file. Okay, so we made the four, uh, actually made one uh, logo animation for the mountain bike. And then also we exported as the three different things. One was HTML document, HTML5. And the second one was animated key file. Okay. And the last one was MP4 video file for social media. Okay, that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and then this video can help you, uh, your project in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.